Welcome to the One Rescuer BLS for Children. In this video, we'll discuss One Rescuer BLS for Children that is age 1 to puberty. There are some slight differences between BLS for adults and children. Now, let's review the One Rescuer BLS process for children. The first step is to tap their shoulders and shout at the child to determine if they're responsive. Then, assess if they're breathing by putting your ear up to their mouth or by watching their chest. If they're not responding, then yell for help. If someone responds to you, then send them to get an AED. Next, feel for the child's pulse for no more than 10 seconds. You can either check for carotid pulse on the side of the neck or the femoral pulse on the inner thigh in the crease between the leg and the groin. Make sure that this entire assessment shouldn't last longer than 10 seconds. If there's no pulse or you can't tell, then begin CPR with a 30 to 2 compression to breath ratio. If the pulse is less than 60 beats per minute, then still initiate CPR. The compression depth should be about one third of the chest, that is two inches for most children. After two minutes or five cycles of CPR, if no help has arrived, leave the child to call EMS and get an AED. In case you witness the child become unconscious and have no one to help you, call 911 and get an AED before starting CPR. Use and follow the AED prompts while continuing CPR until EMS arrives or until the child's condition normalizes. This concludes our lesson in One Rescuer BLS for Children. Next, we'll review Two Rescuer BLS for Children.